President Obama accepted his Nobel Peace Prize this morning in Norway. He said he was surprised and humbled by the award and thanked other leaders in peace. Political analyst Tom Serafin joins us right now to break down the speech. Good morning to you. Good morning. Some call it a little bit of a peace paradox because he is getting this Nobel Peace Prize award at the same time he's sending 30,000 more U.S. troops to the war in Afghanistan. What's your take on all this? Well, you know, I listened to the speech and he, uh, he it was a kind of a nuanced uh, approach to the world around us. Uh, it's a very cold world this morning uh, as, as far as he's concerned, literally and uh, metaphorically. Uh, it was really a speech about justifying Afghanistan and other conflicts as wars for peace. Uh, he talked about the fact that the internet and others have made the, the world of terrorism a, a very small world and a few people can do a lot of harm to a lot of us. And he said the Americans have fought with their blood uh, for a lot of countries and a lot of wars, but it's time for all of us to be together on these kinds of things. It was very nuanced, and and if there was an Obama doctrine uh, to emerge in this first year of presidency, it probably was this morning's speech. I think there will be a lot written about it, what it means. He tried to thread the needle, and I think he did a pretty good job doing that. We well, have a clip. Yeah, uh, let's, let's listen a little up for ourselves. Compared to some of the giants of history who have received this prize, Schweitzer and King, Marshall, and Mandela, my accomplishments are slight. You know, he really had a, a, a tricky kind of a thing to mm. deal with. He, he even recognized that it was too early. You got the Dalai Lama saying, it's a little early to be getting this thing. Uh, politically, what kind of uh, tightrope was he walking there? Well, he, he, you know, politically, I think this was a wonderful opportunity for him because uh, he knew, as the world knows, that he is not in the position of deserving the, the Nobel Peace Prize when you compare it to guys like Mandela and uh, others in, in the past, you know, uh, uh, Mother Teresa. But at the same time, he was worthy of this stage, and this is an international uh, stage. The entire world community was listening, so he had an opportunity to, to speak in a humble way, knowing, you know, he hadn't earn this right, but at the same time, the world wants him to earn this right. So, I mean, his numbers are very high in international polls yesterday in one of the British newspapers. I mean, there's, there's a great deal of pride and love for this man overseas. They understand the problem he has nationally here on uh, stateside, but internationally, people want him to speak. He spoke today, and he actually uh, put the world community on notice. I mean, you have to, you have to help us on this war on terrorism, he told us. If you, have, you have to be part of this. Great grade that speech, I mean, in terms of how he did in the end. I, I thought he, he, he probably did a, a B plus A minus well, that's good. which you know yeah. considering what he had to do in, yeah. in that in that particular stage I'm running excerpts of it right now and do you think he's gonna have favorable uh, columns written about him what do you think well I, I, I mean some of the stuff he said was very profound and you it, know a lot of Americans might, might actually agree with him it is, and remember, he, he's, this is a very political White House. They're looking at 2010, so he's trying to keep the base close to himself, and what he's doing is talking about Afghanistan as a war for peace in the world. Now, what do we do about the Congo? What do we do about Somalia, where there's real conflict, real carnage going on, and atrocities? Well, civil conflict, yes. Right, right. So, do, are those conflicts uh, for peace? And what do we do? Do we watch or we that's move in? That's an interesting So, dynamic, I mean, this speech yeah. sets the table, right. but he's going to have to make those, he's going to have to take action one way or the other. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it, again, he raises the bar for himself on the world stage. Can we live that bar? Interesting. Thank, Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Welcome.